Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, and today is our maternity photo shoot. I just woke up. I'm taking out Zoe. She's using the restroom over there. And I'm so excited. I look crazy today. I look crazy since I just woke up. Like, my eyes are swollen. My face is swollen. Um, but I'm going to be vlogging today. I want to vlog the whole day. I'm the kind of person that if you give me all day to get ready for a big event, like to me, my maternity photo shoot is a big event to me. So if you give me all day to plan and get ready and just glam and do things I want to do, like I'm going to take the whole day. Like that's how I was on my wedding day. That's how I just am, period. So for my maternity photo shoot, it's not till four, but it's like 9 30 right now but i'm going to you know make breakfast i'm just gonna enjoy my whole day basically just pamper myself the whole day get ready and make sure i look good i feel good so and i'm going to bring you along to that right now i'm hungry and we're about to make breakfast have coffee so let's get on with that okay guys so i'm going to be making french toast i've had a few people ask me on how i make mine so i start with a big bowl and i'm going to use about one egg first so for the milk, I like to use this almond vanilla unsweetened and you use about maybe one fourth of a cup of milk. That should be good enough. Mm -hmm. So for more vanilla taste, I like to add this vanilla extract. I get it from Kroger's and I do about that much. Not too much vanilla because when you do too much of the vanilla extract, it can start tasting like medicine. So just a little bit. And also some cinnamon. This is as much as you like. I like a lot of cinnamon in my French toast, so I go kind of heavy on that. And then for sugar, I like to use stevia sugar, stevia in the raw. For all the flavors to combine, you just do a little bit of salt. That's it, not a lot. And then just whisk it up. Okay, you guys, so here is our French toast all done. It came out really good. I ended up having to do two batters because this bread was soaking up all the batter really quickly. I'm gonna show y'all how I like to prepare my French toast if I wanna go above and beyond that day or just be a little bougie. I washed some berries. I like to have Nutella, some powdered sugar. This is some sweetened condensed milk or lechera. I love to top mine off with these. Some regular old syrup. And my husband's favorite is this blueberry syrup, but I'm not gonna be using this today. People like to cut it diagonally and then they just serve it up like that. You can do that as well. But what I like to do is when I'm going to stuff it with Nutella is, I just grab the Nutella and I spread it across. It doesn't have to be all over just you know you can make it how you want but then what I like to do is fold it over into a little triangle like this it will be just my breakfast the um, half a toast and then Nutella one serving mine up with some bacon and eggs and then my side of berries I'm gonna go in with the powdered sugar. This just makes it look pretty. And I like to put the lechera on top of my French toast, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just a little bit. So before I even wash my face, I think I'm gonna go ahead and exfoliate with this first, which is just taking off all my baby hairs and also like my sideburn hair off with this little razor it's just like a small little razor that i get at the beauty supplies it 
skin is all smooth because that kind of like takes off all the skin dead skin off your face so it's like a exfoliator but i like it because it also takes off like any little hairs you have on your face so now i can go wash my face using today is this origins hello calm mask it's a relaxing and hydrating mask be using this one now that my skin is nice and dry we're just gonna let this it smells really really good and it's like a warming mask as well it's my second time using it I've been wanting this face mask for a while I finally got it last week. So I'm just applying it all over. So yeah, so that face mask is on. Let's let it sit for a few minutes. And we can go do some other stuff. I'm taking out everything to pack, so let's go do that. This is my first fancy gown. It is a dark green, like dark olive green color, and it's just like jersey material, and it has this huge train, like I'm talking about huge, it's really, really long. And then this is just like my second outfit, it's just like a white little chiffon dress that I, I got this one off Amazon, oh, and I got this dress from Mama Bump Rentals, it's like a place where you can rent maternity gown the flower crown is going to be for the white outfit right here since that's going to be more of my bohemian look and my jewelry that i just have laid out for my more glam outfit and my bra that i'm going to be wearing and these little panties like maternity panties that are going to be shown in that dress so i wanted them white so i have i'm kind of bringing everything out mask and now I'm going to do my um, going to moisturize my skin I'm going to be using squalene oil and my CeraVe moisturizing cream the baby one so I can start on my hair since that's gonna take the longest since I'm gonna do the extensions so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that this is my skin is pretty dry right now I'm gonna hydrate it with both the oil and the baby cream I'm, I don't think I'm going to be doing my whole hair routine or the whole curling of the hair all over again because I know I already did that in another video. But for at least today, I'm going to show y'all like my hair prep. Yesterday, I went ahead and applied a, a hair glaze from Sally's to my hair just to touch it up because it was like a, all of my highlighted ends on the bottom were like all lightened and it was not looking cute. I wanted that like rich dark chocolate tone for the photo shoot so i'm gonna start with this ion heat and heat protecting spray just put it all over my hair and to build up some volume in my hair i'm gonna do the dry shampoo in my roots because my roots are so flat. Since yesterday I washed my hair and all that. For the hair uh, hairspray I'm going to be using today is this Sally's one. It is the generic value products shaping spray. It's the compared to Sebastian Shaper Plus spray. Which is one of my favorite hairsprays. I just didn't have the chance to go to Armstrong McCall yesterday. And I just picked this one up because I really like it. It's really good. It's a light hole. This is the kind of hairspray that I like to use like before I'm styling, like before as you're doing. Like first I will spray this down and then curl. This is a shaping spray, styling spray. This is not a finishing spray. This is not gonna hold your style. It's just gonna make it smooth out your style, defrizz your style so it looks all cohesive together. Okay, you guys, now that I finished my hair, 
just letting it sit. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my makeup. So lately I've been really liking the Hangover RX primer. I got it in the mini version just to try it out. I didn't know if it was gonna make my skin oily or not, but it's been making my skin look so beautiful, like really smooth and it's hydrating so my foundation never looks really cakey or anything but since i still am getting kind of oily and it's really really hot outside i'm, I'm gonna go in with the makeup forever mattifying spray or the mattifying I'm gonna go in with this one the makeup forever and for my makeup today i'm gonna just do really classic glam and simple i'm not gonna go crazy and do like a dramatic look because i have two outfit changes so i need the makeup to look good for both outfits so i'm just gonna go with like a natural look i'm actually gonna be trying out well i already tried it out before and i really liked it was the nars natural radiant foundation i'm gonna use this to mix it in with my uh with some of my other favorite foundation, which is the Frankie Rose. So I'm just going to be using the trial one. But yeah, I'm going to do my brows, you guys. And I'll be right back with you guys. with the Frankie Rose Matte Perfection Foundation because it's just gonna make sure that I don't slip away or anything like that. And I color matched myself to this um, NARS foundation, so I hope it's my shade. It looks like it is. I've heard really, really good things about this foundation. And I've been wanting to try it. I don't, I didn't want to buy the whole bottle and it be too oily for me.
lashes i'm gonna try these um that i got at the beauty supply store they look pretty nice and thick without being too crazy yeah these lashes are gonna be popping for this look so let me go ahead and cut them and i'll be right back Finish most of my makeup off camera because i'm like running short on time my husband just came back with food so we can eat right now he got us gorditas i'm so hungry so I'm just putting on my inner corner. eat you guys and then I'm gonna finish up my hair well you know what let me go ahead and finish setting my face so I'm gonna go ahead and set with max fix plus with the all-nighter hey guys so I finished my makeup after I ate the gordita because we're running like we were running on time like really bad i didn't even get to do my nails i just painted them like the nude color really quickly just we're to give them late. Said on time. we're running late not running on time running late so, and i still have to finish my hair which i already did i was just like clipping it back and putting on my lipstick i ended up going with this lipstick from anastasia i don't remember the name but i can always show y'all whenever i get home and i had to like put everything on and we are on our way now and we are running behind by like 15 minutes so but it's okay my friend's gonna be our photographer today she's an amazing photographer so she's taking our pictures today at lake houston wilderness park and it's just really beautiful there's a lot of trees and all that it's really hot outside though so i'm hoping like not to be dying of heat and you know you got a full set of hair and big old dress but yeah but we are on our way and I just wanted to check in with you guys because I know I was like finishing doing my makeup and then I went to go eat and yeah sorry about that I thought I had you know booked enough time but anyways I will be showing y'all like behind the scenes and whatnot from the photo shoot and us changing and I'm gonna try to film as much as I can you guys we are done film filming we are done with our photo shoot we actually just finished and picked up some smoothie king mm. i got the um angel food it's one of my faves and he got what did you get recharger <laughs> something recharger mm -hmm. this was my second look you guys and a little white dress with your stomach kind of hanging out and this flower crown i'm about to take it off but i'm tired it was really 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 hot and it was crowded at the park and we should have known it was memorial weekend but i didn't even think about it um so now we're on our way home and we're just gonna chill i actually want to take a shower because i feel sweaty and i got a lot of little pebbles and rocks all over my legs because we got into this creek but overall I really enjoyed the pictures she got she was showing me some of the shots she was getting and it looked like she got some really good ones and I cannot wait to frame them and have them so yeah 
and it's crazy you don't really know how big you are until you actually look on camera on like professional camera i'm like whoa baby baby chaps is making me big but yeah so just gonna go home now and chill